good everybody my name is Jay Fatty welcome back to another video today I got a super quick video talking about stereo separation inside FL studio before we get into that I want to ask you to please check out the new beat tape from the homies Foot Pound McGinnis, DC the Beatmaker, and myself called Friendly Fire. It's a bunch of genre blending, beats with hooks, some really dope vibes. So if you could listen to that and check it out, let us know what you think down in the comments. I would really appreciate that. The link is in the description. All right, let's get on with this video. Okay, so when I talk about stereo separation, I'm talking about exactly that. Inside FL Studio, there's a knob that you can mess with right here okay more towards the left it's going to make the the insert or the element more stereo and more towards the right it'll make it mono okay so mono is just one speaker like right through the middle essentially whereas left and right is exactly that it's the left side of the stereo and the right side of the stereo but messing with certain tracks and pulling them to the left or right can really help you fill up the spectrum and get your mix sitting better in a lot of different ways. So let's hear this and I'll do an example, okay? So over here we have a violin part. Now I'm going to take off the stereo separation that I have on it so you can hear how it sounds without it and then we'll put it back on so you can hear how it sounds with it. Now I recommend wearing headphones or listening to um, with actual speakers rather than listening to this on your phone because phones only play mono so you're not going to necessarily be able to hear it through your phone speaker. But if you got headphones, you will. All right, so let's listen. Now it sounds good, but we can make that violin sit in that mix a little bit better. So if we stereo separate it all the way, here's what it sounds like. While it's playing, I'm going to move the stereo separation knob to mono and stereo so you can really hear the difference. So as you can see, the further left it got, the louder it sounded and the more hitting it was. The further right we got towards the mono, the more quiet it became. So it's about finding a good balance be point between the two. So that's why I put it about right here, just a little bit stereo separated, but not too crazy. And it really gives it that nice vibe. So yeah, keep that in mind when you're working on stuff. Definitely don't forget about this stereo separation knob, okay? It really can come in handy and create that extra sauce. That's pretty much it, y'all. If this video brought you value, please leave a like, hit subscribe, and hit that little bell. I really appreciate that. Make sure you stay safe, stay striving, and always be getting it. Much love, y'all. Peace.